book is a tract about, you know, what are the dangers of uh, married life? What are the silent desperations of keeping a, an ongoing relationship alive? And what are the choices? You know, you're either in that or you're not in that. And Stanley was very, very much a family man and in it. And the conjectures that he made about what it might be like outside it was, had a lot to do with what he was curious about. It was a theme that uh, we both talked about a great deal. And he thought about it in many different ways. It used to come back over the years again and again. And as you see uh, friends getting divorced and remarried and the topic would come up again. And it had so many variations and so much really serious thought to it that he knew one day he was going to make it. May I ask why a beautiful woman who could have any man in this room wants to be married? Why wouldn't she? Is it as bad as that? As good as that. Stanley's expectations of people were not really, really high. And you see it in his films. And there was human beings that he loved. I mean, Christiane was the love of his life. And he would talk about her with, I mean, he adored her. And that's something that people didn't know. His daughters adored them. His, you know, he, and I would see that because he would talk to me about them very proudly. But his understanding of humans was that we are very bittersweet. But he admired, I think, you know, like passion and commitment and loyalty. I mean, because ultimately Eyes Wide Shut is about that commitment. It's a very hopeful film. People see it as a very dark film, but it's not. It's very hopeful. Alice. I must see you again. That's impossible. Why? Because... I'm married. His films are often thought to be um, without pity. That's a good quality, it seems to me, because he's saying to us, we are like this. We are hopeless, muddled, fallible, desperate, needing love human beings. And in the end, I think that's what is the central quality of his films. He tells us about human beings as we are, not as we'd like to imagine that we are. The heart of it, was illustrating a truth about relationships and sexuality, but it was not illustrated in a literal way, but in a theatrical way. People said, well, the streets don't look like New York. I said, well, in a way, I said, it doesn't matter. Look at the name of the street. I said, no such street exists in New York. I said, in a funny way, it's as if you're experiencing New York in a dream, you know? It seems like New York, but it's not. It seems like your wife, you know? What is she telling me? And do I want to know? Maybe I shouldn't ask. Because I'm a beautiful woman, the only reason any man ever wants to talk to me <laughs> is because he wants to fuck me? Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't think it's quite that black and white, but, but I think we both know what men are like. Oh, so on that basis, I should conclude that you wanted to fuck those two models. There are exceptions. And what makes you an exception? I took that character of Bill home with me. And at times, that, that was not a nice place to be sitting in that character for that amount of time. It was, it really is not uh, the kind of person that I am, that contained, non-communicative, likes the daily routine, the stability of his life, just, you know, ignoring his wife and that relationship and just not wanting to rock the boat. Taking things for granted, Bill did. Took her for granted, took his family for granted, his life for granted. It's just a little too smug and she just goes, bang. I first saw him that morning in the lobby. 
He was, he was checking into the hotel and he was following the bellboy with his luggage to the elevator. He, he glanced at me as he walked past, just a glance. Nothing more. Move. When we went in to rehearse that scene, it was the three of us, and we just kind of got in our underwear and... Uh, not Stanley. We got in our underwear. <laughs> uh, and we just, just talked about the scene and just kind of didn't really worry about the lines too much at that point. It just slowly evolved. And we were doing take after take. You know, I said, Stanley, what, what do you want? He said, I want the magic. I want the magic. But then as the scene progressed, as, you know, take after take doing it, you, you'd feel the scene reach a level, and everyone felt, oh, well, that's acceptable, that's interesting. And then we'd keep working on it, and it would, it would feel bad. It was stale. It just didn't, it wasn't working. And then suddenly, we could feel it break into a place that none of us had really thought of before. 